Hi, this is attorney Jamie Miller and welcome to another Miller Law Chronicle podcast. Today we're going to talk about does bankruptcy clear tax debt? And we're going to talk about what debts and when debts can be discharged or when tax debts can be discharged in bankruptcy and managing the dischargeability of those tax debts in Chapter 7 bankruptcy. There's a lot of pitfalls when it comes to understanding when you can discharge taxes and bankruptcies. And we are here uh, to simplify the legal maze and give you clarity and confidence as you go through the bankruptcy process when it comes to discharging taxes and bankruptcy. Appreciate you listening in. Follow us on um, Google Podcasts, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Um, Appreciate you very much. Uh, Have a great day. Thanks for listening in. Hi, it's attorney Jamie Miller, and I'm excited to welcome you to another Miller Law Chronicle podcast. In today's episode, we're going to talk or going to talk about the dischargeability of taxes in bankruptcy. And and during this podcast, and we're going to talk about taxes today, we focus on helping people simplify the legal maze of different issues that they're having. And we want to give people clarity and confidence as they go through the legal process. And, And today, one of the real confusing areas in dealing with bankruptcy is what debts are dischargeable, what tax debts are dischargeable in bankruptcy. And we see people all the time that come in that have tax debt from two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. And the dischargeability of taxes is something that can be really confusing. And it can be really dangerous because the rules um, that require or that allow the dischargeability of taxes and bankruptcy are really specific. And I would strongly urge you, if you have tax liability and if you are considering filing for bankruptcy, that you consult with me or consult with one of my lawyers here at Miller & Miller because there's specific time deadlines that would allow you or not allow you to file for bankruptcy to discharge that debt. It's really important to laser focus on exactly what tax year those taxes were filed. It's important to know what tax year those taxes were due. And it's important to know when the IRS or the state um, assessed the tax. All those three things are, is going to be information that we need in order to determine whether taxes can be discharged in, in, in a bankruptcy. Now, many have the, the notion that taxes can't be discharged in bankruptcy, and nothing is further from the truth. Taxes are treated differently um, than any other debt. They're not treated like a medical bill or a credit card bill, a utility bill, or a payday loan. There's a total separate area of the law that covers the dischargeability of taxes, whether you file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy or whether you file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Now, we're only talking about income taxes, right? So we're not talking about dischargeability of sales tax or employee withholding tax. Those types of taxes are... um, They're referred to as trust fund taxes. So if you own a business and you charge sales tax and the customer pays you that tax, you have to take that sales tax revenue and pay it to the government. If you don't pay it, that's trust fund money, meaning you're holding it for the benefit of the government. You as the owner of that business can be uh, held personally responsible for not paying that over. The customer paid you, you're holding on to that money. That money doesn't belong to you. You must pay it to the government. If you hold on to that money and you use it for your own personal purposes or use it for another expense within the business, the IRS or the state is going to ding you because you didn't pay that money over that you were holding for their benefit. Same thing for employee withholding taxes. 
you take money out of your out of your employees paycheck and you are holding it for the benefit of the federal government if you don't pay it over the irs is going to come after you personally and say listen this wasn't your money you weren't supposed to spend it on personal things or spend it other on anything else you need to turn that money over to the government if you don't turn that over we're going to come after you personally now i'm happy to chat with you sometimes people don't know whether the tax assessed against them is a trust fund tax here at miller miller me personally i'll be happy to review all of your taxes with you and see what we can do to determine what is dischargeable and not dischargeable we have an amazing program here we've invested in the technology to help determine when tax debt is dischargeable. So I will need, in order to, to determine if I can get rid of your tax debt, we're gonna work with you and get your tax account transcripts. Your tax account transcripts are gonna tell me how much you owe, from what year you owe those taxes, when you filed your taxes, and when the IRS assessed those taxes. And keep in mind that we're going to need to know all of that information before I can tell you whether or not we're going to be able to discharge your taxes. So in order to discharge taxes in a chapter seven, we have the following tests that we need to apply. Number one, we need to know that it's income tax, right? So not withholding tax not and not sales tax. It's got to be income tax. It's got to be from a tax year that's at least three years old, right? So if you know it's 2023 and it's from a tax year 2022 or 2021, the tax debt is not older than three years. Under no circumstances in 2023 would you be able to discharge that tax liability. The other thing is it's gotta be at least three years old and also, you did not do anything that was fraudulent in an effort to try to pay your taxes, right? So let's say you owe taxes from 2017. Well, if it's older than three years old, you think, yes, I may be able to discharge those taxes. But if you were dishonest on your taxes and the IRS was aware of that dishonesty, they're going to object to your ability to discharge those taxes. The next prong is that you filed a tax return for the debt you you hope to discharge at least two years before the filing of the bankruptcy. So in order to discharge the taxes it has to be older than three years and you have to have filed your taxes at least two years ago. A lot of numbers we're throwing at you here. So let's give you an example. If, you fought, if you're looking at discharging taxes from 2017, well, we know that that's more than three years ago. If you filed your taxes in 2017, 2018, 2019, well, that's more than two years ago, you may qualify to discharge those taxes in bankruptcy. If, however, it's 2023 and you're trying to discharge your 2017 taxes, and you filed those taxes in 2022, you will not be able to discharge your taxes. And this introduces us to an important, important obstacle that you could run into. It's so important when you're trying to discharge taxes to speak with a qualified bankruptcy lawyer. Because what happens if you come in and you say, yeah, I want to get rid of my taxes from 2017, but you only filed your tax returns in 2022 and you file in 2023, you just made a terrible mistake. If you would have waited to file your bankruptcy in 2024 or 2025, you could have discharged those taxes. And I've seen several times, many times, where bankruptcy lawyers have filed cases, and if they would have waited six months, eight months or a year to file the case and had the information they needed, they would have been able to um, discharge those taxes. 
Now, the other thing is there's something called the 240 day rule, meaning the IRS must have assessed the tax at least 240 days before your filing. So what that means is that when you submit your tax returns, it takes time for the IRS to assess the tax, right? So you, you, you submit your tax returns, you may owe $10,000. The IRS doesn't assess that tax against you until they've had an opportunity to review your taxes and um, assess the tax. So let's review this. So if you want to discharge taxes, tax year two, 2017, the taxes are older than three years. Okay, so you've passed that test. If you filed your tax returns in 2019, your taxes are more than two years old. So from a tax year, you filed your taxes at least two years ago. So 2017, tax year more than three years ago, 2019, you file your taxes within the last two years. Now, if the IRS is behind and they don't assess your tax until 2022, you can only discharge those taxes if the tax was assessed more than 240 days ago. Now, we have software here at Miller & Miller that is going to answer all of these questions. We need to see your tax account account transcripts, and we're going to do a tax discharge determination for you and help you know for sure when you file your case that you can get rid of taxes or you can't. We'll also be able to tell you when the magic date is that you would be able to file your taxes. So when you consult with us, we may say, July 4th of next year is the date that you can file taxes to file bankruptcy to help get rid of those taxes. This is a very important part of the bankruptcy process of helping you to discharge taxes. And we here at Miller & Miller are here to help you do it. There are some other circumstances where that could impact this and the dischargeability of your taxes. Sometimes it depends on your assets, but in general terms, we're here to help you figure out whether or not we can get rid of your taxes in bankruptcy. And I can't urge you enough to talk to a qualified bankruptcy lawyer to really help you understand if you can discharge tax liability in bankruptcy. I appreciate you listening in. would really like it if you could subscribe to us on YouTube, if you could... Um, Follow us on Spotify or Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts. Anything you can do, spread the love. It's about the Miller Law Chronicles. Appreciate you very much. Have a great day.